the first one is um, in the manga they make fun of uh, Black Star for changing his name to Black Star, just like they make fun of Soul. Do you feel um, left out? I'm offended, <laughs> <laughs> and I will take it to tumble. <laughs> Yeah. Right, yeah. Mine, it's a word, word, word for it. Don't, 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 leave, don't yeah. leave that can of worms, Sherry. Just leave it. Right <laughs> there. <laughs> There's a friend of mine who was like, he goes, I just want the people on Tumblr to like me. <laughs> and then he said, I'm very careful about who I associate with. I have to make sure they're good, they have good Tumblr credit. And I'm like, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> they're already on Tumblr. Yeah, they're, they're, everyone on Tumblr just takes each other. And then the other question was, uh, when is the series coming out? Yes. We buy it. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, I'll look it up. Take my money. It's and, and we don't know Funimation is here. Yeah. So I know it's in June or something. Oh, I was like, you should sell yeah. that on this panel. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, well, and, and Funimation, Funimation has a booth in the dealer room, uh, so there are official Funimation representatives in the dealer room, and uh, so you can always um, ask them about pre-order pre information, and like, if we're off on the date, they can tell you the correct one. And, Love the way right. it. <laughs> Huh? Uh, you should be watching. You should be watching. <laughs> <laughs> that was like subconscious and everything. Yeah. That was so subtle, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Good. I'm good at so that. Subliminal. I think I'm gonna watch Funimation now. <laughs> <laughs> Something just told me I should watch. Yes. Uh, first just off, um, uh, it's, it's an honor to meet all four of you. Uh, oh, this is actually the first time I've actually met voiceovers in person. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm very sorry. Uh, so, it's, so I have a two-part question. So it's a question for all four of you. So uh, what special characteristics do you absolutely adore about the characters that you portray? Mm. <laughs> Anya's love of food. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, that's good taste. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Real quick. Context, context. Real quick. Um, I, we're also really, really excited about the release of Soul Eater Not because it's going to have outtakes on it. Yeah. Yeah. That is so rare. It is so rare. And when they told oh us we were getting gosh. outtakes, we were so excited. Can I spoil one for you? Yes. Yes. Okay, speaking of Anya, sure. I know, I know we kept talking and laughing. Sorry, people on that side of the room. Um, so, and this pertains to food, which goes with what I just said. So, ah, um, so okay, so the, one of the episodes that we saw, you know, when Anya comes in and she's like, hey, I got these for everybody, and it's like the little fish cake things. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that, that was the episode where they told me, oh, yeah, by the way, like, we're getting outtakes, and I'm so used to that not being a thing. And so sometimes when I'm in the booth, I'll just say something and I don't think because I don't think anyone's listening. It just sort of comes out. And so she takes them. I've seen those those little cakes before. I forget what they're called. Tayaki. Tayaki, thank you. Um, so I mean, I was familiar with it, but she takes it out of her bag and all of a sudden I just go, eat some. <laughs> and then when she hands it, I guess it's to you. Yeah. And like when she's like, oh, hey, when she's about to open the box, you know, the present they gave her, I was like, you're holding my fish. <laughs> whatever it's called anymore, but it was like, I forget what you did, but I think it was a line where you were going like, a cactus, but you went, it's a <laughs> <laughs> So it became this ongoing like, it's a bitch, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know where it's from. And I'm pretty sure it like, when you're like, that's the one on your deal. I was like, I got your fish bag. I got your fish bag. You're turning out so mean, though. That should, that that should be shirt. on there. That should be on the outcast yeah. deal, so, yeah. And then they were like, that's going on the rail. I was like, dang it, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes so American. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to your question. What favorite aspects of your character? Oh, derailed us. Oh, yes, Brent. Um, okay. Uh, she's so awkward, and her struggle is so real. And just, just like, I just said that. Oh, God. Um, but like, she's in this new place, and it, it's it's all very strange. 
stressful and she's not where she wants to be. And I can totally relate to that because look who I'm sitting next to. And it's like, it's, it's that I want to get in, I want to try so hard. I'm and hurt, Brent. Brent, I'm aware. No, I mean, as in like, I'm surrounded by people who have this down, who are just the pros. And I'm like, oh. wow, we're I'm lying really well. <laughs> I fooled you. My heart packs, just packs. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying. See here. No, Mike is not so all over. My name is Mike Trollisod. I'm a troll leader. No, we're not going back to Tumblr. Okay. Stay away from Tumblr. I know. I do. Don't do it. Uh, my favorite thing about Soul is that he's very loyal. He's loyal to his friends, the people that he cares about, even though he puts on the cool persona of like, ah, I don't care about anybody. He really does. I, I find that really appealing. Um, my favorite thing about Hattie is her eternal optimism <laughs> and her ability to make everything really entertaining, everything so light, which is like kind of the opposite of me because I will. Oh, I'm such a perfectionist. I want everything to be perfect, and I will like stress over it. Whereas Patty's like, it's fine. So sometimes, like, there have been a couple situations where people around me will be like, channel Patty, and I'm like, no, not right now. I gotta get stuff done. Uh, but yeah, I I really do wish there was more of that in my personality because I love that about her. She's very motivating in her. Like, I don't care. <laughs> that was so much fun. It's one of my favorite times ever at the booth. And my uh, second part of the question is for Jeremy. Yes. Um, uh, which, uh, how did you enjoy the scene in the super written exam where uh, Patty turns her test papers into a giraffe? <laughs> and did your interest increase your interest? Did that increase your interest in giraffes? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I married a human giraffe. Uh, my husband is six foot five. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I actually like giraffes, but after that, people in my world just start to be like, I saw this giraffe and I thought of you. People that didn't even know about that scene, know about that episode, so the giraffes came to me. And every time I saw them, I'd be like, I'm gonna break your neck, my little friend. Um, but yeah, no, I, I love that episode. She has so many really fun, iconic episodes. And that's one of the few characters that when people will say, like, can you do a line that I can remember, like, one or two? She's just so wacky. Do you remember during the premiere when we were doing the Q&A and you saw a Patty cosplayer with a giraffe? Like, we were in the middle of answering a different question, you just stood up and you are like, you have a giraffe! <laughs> question about like what it's like for her playing Maka and Soul Leader and there's a Patty cosplayer that was standing on the chair like thousands of people back and I was like I'm sorry Laura hi Patty you have a giraffe I love you and uh, then uh, Zach who is the director he looks over and he goes and there we go <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And it was totally unintentional, and everyone thought I did it on purpose. They were like, great job! And I was like, yeah! Yeah! On purpose. Thank you. Yay. Greetings. Hey guys, okay, so my first question is for Micah and Jeremy. Uh, was it hard to go back and make a prequel, like, after going through all this character development? in the actual Solider series? It was a little weird because I think For logically you. I wanted to be like, oh, this is where they pick back up and then stuff's happened to them and right. that's when they change. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I did have to keep reminding myself a couple of times. I also like came in, I was working on Psychopaths, and they're like, by the way, you're doing Soul Leader for two hours and then we'll do, so I didn't even know I was gonna be working on it. They're like, oh. we got the rights and here we go. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool. Um, but it was very quick. It was very yeah. quick. Uh, so I think I would have probably had to keep reminding myself like this is a pretty cool, this is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, once I kind of figured out the flow of things, you kind of just push all that other stuff out of your mind and like, it's okay. Things get better. <laughs> you kill a lot of giraffes in your future. <laughs> Just hang on. You sing, you sing a round of row, 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 row yeah. yourself. Life yeah. gets good. <laughs> um, for you especially, because you had to do like a hard reset of like 
This is where we've established where the character, characters yeah. after like 50 something episodes going all the way back and being like, this is her before all of that. Right. It's like which playing a, a new little, character. Which was a little scary, but then at the other, because uh, they, played, they played all of our references, mm -hmm. which was kind of like, <laughs> so they played all of our references, and then Zach goes, it doesn't really matter for your reference, though, because she's not really going to sound like you. Um, so that was a little bit of a pressure thing, so I'm like, well, people are going to hate it if it doesn't sound like Patty. So they'll be like, what happened to Cher? I mean, but um, there's a little bit of her in there because it's the same person, uh, but she's just a complete, she's in a completely different mindset, so that changed. I think it was very comfortable. I mean, it's just like going into an older pair of clothes. I mean, it's like yeah. it, it still fits, but you wouldn't wear it out, you know? And it's like, <laughs> put it on, you're like, that's interesting. I it's, wear it's, it out. Well, I mean, strange enough. The personality broke there. But, <laughs> but it was cool because it was like we had Zach, who was the original director. We had Chubbs, who directed the last half of the series. And, uh, and during that week, we did all of the, uh, the original cast first because they didn't cast uh, the new characters yet. So it was just like going back to work on the old Soul Leader again. Yeah. Um, and very surreal, very surreal. It was, it was really like a high school reunion. Of yeah, <laughs> it did feel like that. Hi, I haven't and seen you in a while. I don't Last know if you weekend, go, Exactly, fun. yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if you guys know, they're re releasing Soul Leader in a, like a limited edition in a yearbook. I didn't really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. yeah, yeah, so I feel like it really is like uh, uh, high school graduation. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Soul Eater, I hadn't been at Funimation for very long, and so I had kind of like just barely missed it, and I was like, oh man, like that would have been so fun to audition for, so it was really, really cool to get to be in this series, because it was like, oh man, the audition I didn't get to do, and it's not the same show, but it kind of is, so it's like, yeah, <laughs> I got another chance, but no, like when I was, when I was hearing about, because um, uh, I, I was friends with the brand manager for um, Soul Eater, he's, he's no longer at Funimation, but for the first Curtis. season, yeah, Curtis, was great. And he was, you know, telling me all about like the casting and like the characters and like he seemed super into it. And just through what he told me before they even started the dubbing process, I was like, oh man, like that would have been a really cool show to be in. And I thought Black Star seemed like a really, really, really fun character. Yeah. And, and a challenge too. Yeah. Like playing a voice. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was way before I got there. They like I I've only been doing this for like two years. Um, but. I definitely think Black Star. It's 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 just such an out there role. And it's, well, it's fun to play a punk little boy that yeah. has like you know all yeah. this arrogance and confidence and like doesn't care. And and nothing else. I feel like yeah, yeah. That's what I like, just be having fun with it. You're just so confident, and I feel yeah. like every time you leave, it would just be this boost. Yeah, <laughs> like, I feel so good today. You know, you're the world. Right. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. Take on America. Yeah. I enjoyed. Like yeah. they go, there's a lot of international cuisine. <laughs> Taco. <laughs> Taco. It's like there's really a, like like French fries, tacos. It's really not a lot of like international cuisine. It's like Americanized version yeah. of international. Well, and then, and then the town is like, here's a French market. Yeah. And, all, and all the architecture is very European. And they, like, right. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I wish that's what our like, so many like. things in the, in, in the market were still very Japanese. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. like the Tarot Key thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Josephine. 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 Yeah. Josephine. 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 <laughs> there were a lot of things in there that I was like, well, you know. And I, what, I, what I was amazed by was the lack of hamburgers. 
I yeah. think that's very American. Well, I mean, like, at one point when Kim is heating up the fries, I was like, you know, if this was real, she would be heating up ramen noodles. Like, they are in school. Yeah, they're the money. And clearly she doesn't know that if you heat up french fries, they turn into packing yeah. donuts. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. they don't taste yeah. good yeah. anymore. Yeah. And then at night it turns into, like, a timber movie. The other thing is... <laughs> 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 I love that this is just a toaster strip. Like, she asked about the gold timber. Like, Sorry. the food. Hey, hey, food, hey, food, food, food is culture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, but like the, the beds are enormous and like the, yeah, like the death bucks. The, the death bucks. The yeah. Starbucks. It's really yeah. classy. Yeah. 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 But again, yeah. very European. Yeah, very nice. Like, and like, order. I'd live there. And then like the maid outfits. Like, we don't. No. Yeah. 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 You're a lady. I'm so lady. I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Thank you guys so much Thank for coming you. out. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it.